Hi friends, it's Miss Stern. How are you today? I found a great book for us and before I read it with you, would you ask a grown-up if they'd like to know when there's a new story coming, if they would subscribe below and hit the little bell and then I'll let you know when there's a new story. So the story I have today is called Dog Team. It's about sled dog racing and sled dogs who go out for a run at night. And I want to read to you the author, Gary Paulson, writes a lot of adventure stories. I just want to read to you what he wrote in the beginning um, at the author um, section of the story. Nothing in running dogs is quite so beautiful as a night run. The cold, the cold is crisper. The dogs run for the pure joy of running, and the moon seems to dance on the snow. In all our running and training and raising puppies, the night runs stand out the most. So in order to write this book, I bet he went and trained and ran with these dogs. So let's find out what it's like for the dogs to run in the cold at night. Are you ready? Here we go. Sometimes we run at night in the full moon when it's blue and white on the snow at the same time, so bright and clean and open, you could read in the dark. We harness the dogs and run at night. They tremble. Some small songs of excitement when the harnesses are put on because they want to run. Breathe to run, eat to run, live to run. But silent, straining to run, to go, to join the snow and the moon and the night, pulling against the tugs and the gang line tied to the sled, heaving until finally the hook is free from the snow and they are gone. The dance through the trees, in and out, the sled whipping after them through the trees with no sound but the song of the runners, the high, soft shush whine of the runners and the soft jingle of their collars. Into the night, away from camp, away from people, away from houses and light and noise, and into only one thing. Into only winter night, they fly away and away and away. A lake, frozen and flat and white in the moonlight, we slip out of the woods onto the ice and time for one breath, two, and across the ice is gone. Creaking and moaning beneath us and into the trees again, left, right, and we are not alone. Wolves. They come alongside in the moonlight. Moon wolves, snow wolves, night wolves. They run with us, pace the dogs, pace our hearts and our lives, and then turn, turn away in the blue dark. And so we run, part of the night and dark and cold and moonlight 
and steam from our breaths. into the soft beauty of the woods and the quiet. We run mile on mile until we see lights. We see lights and find that we have circled in the night, circled in the snow and the winter and our lives and all the world and have come home. There, gleaming yellow kitchen light, warm in the cold, deep cold, cold so ice breath freezes on eyelids, freezes eyes shut, cold so the light from... The moon is frozen on the snow, Cold, so all the dogs are coated with ice and the snaps on their collars and harness won't open and their laughter panting breath freezes on their cheeks and makes them all smiles, dog smiles, dog laughs. There, home, and we stop, close now, so close we see people in the cabin, see the faces in the window. The dogs look back. Why are they still in harness? Why are they standing? The dance is over, is it not? Is not the dog dance in the dog moon and dog cold and dog night over? They sing little jets of steam from their mouths. Did you? You did. You did. Did you want it to last forever? Did you like it? Something that I think would be fun to do with a grown-up is to go out at night and look at the things around where you live. And what do you notice at night? Write them down and make sure to draw beautiful pictures with them. The other thing to do after reading the story, I think would be to write what, your own story on what happens when the dogs get home. After they're finished with their run and they find the cabin with the grown up with the grown-ups and maybe children inside, write your own story. What happens next? So until next time, my friends, happy reading. <laughs>